What's up, everybody? All right, so this has been a requested video for a little bit now. I figured I'd do it this weekend because it has been cold as and rainy as all weekend, so. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all the gear that I wear while I'm riding uh, because people have asked for it. And I've done videos about my bike and I've done videos about the parts on my bike, but I've never done a gear video for you guys, so. First, I'll go over the helmet. Uh, pretty simple, I mean, it's just an Icon Airframe Pro with the uh, the design is called the Pharaoh blue mirrored visor on it. Super comfortable helmet, a uh, little bit on the pricey side for what it is. But really comfortable, I trust it if I were to ever go down and smack my head against the earth. It's a really light helmet and that's one of the biggest things that drew me to it was how light the helmet was. I mean, it's pretty simple when it comes to a helmet. I, it's got a cool design. Everybody seems to always compliment that, so that's pretty cool. Now for the gloves. These are uh, O'Neill gloves. It's an O'Neill brand. They're just MX gloves. They're made for, you know, dirt bike riding and shit like that. I found them at Cycle Gear. Shout out to Cycle Gear. I liked how thin they were. They're super thin gloves. I tend to like the thinner gloves just because I can do more. I can feel more while riding. Thick gloves kind of bother me because they feel restrictive and everything like that. Uh, these are the gloves I've been rocking for a while. This is actually my second pair of these exact gloves. Obviously, they're not going to be good for cold air riding. Even though I wear them in the cold, they, they, they suck when it comes to that. Next up, the Icon knee and shin guards. These are the Icon Field Armor uh, knee and shin guards. They actually don't make these anymore. I bought these right after I had that high side video. In that high side video, I was uh, wearing some cheap knee pad and shin guard armor. They kind of saved my knees, but not completely. But if I didn't have those, my knees would have definitely been a hell of a lot worse than they were. So I went ahead and ordered some pretty nice quality knee and shin armor. Be comfortable. It's it's all one piece. These are just attached by like see right there the knee pad. It's just it's a attached by the stretchy bungee shit. I wear those under my pants. That's something you guys don't typically see in my videos. Next up is the Viking Cycle Flannel. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Can you stop making noise, please? Thank you. So anyway, the Viking Cycle Flannel, you guys have probably, you guys have seen this already. You know what it is, you wear it in my videos. But in case you don't know, it looks like a typical flannel. Um, it's, it's decently warm, but it's got all the well it doesn't it doesn't have the back in it right now but it's got all the uh the armor in it for the elbow pads and the shoulder pads and shit like that it's, it's armor that doesn't look like armor and i kind of like that stuff and that's why when people comment and call me a squid because they think that i'm riding with no actual protection on i kind of just chuckle and move on from it because I am. I'm fully armored up. Another thing that goes along with the hidden gear is uh, these shoes right here. Typically, I just wear Vans. I actually got these things not too long ago. Harley Davidson brand shoes. In the ankles, they actually have like that uh, D3O armor in the ankles and in the toes. These are something I'm about to be put into the test. So my recording equipment. This is obviously a Cena. If you guys don't know what a Cena is, this is how I am able to talk to people that I'm riding with hooks onto the the helmet right here if i can there we go it hooks onto the helmet right there it's got the dial to turn it up and down and like that but it's got the uh the speakers that run into the helmet and they're in my ears and i can hear shit. and then it's got the microphone that runs up in there and you can tell mine is definitely old and been used quite a bit it's the cena smh10 it's definitely an older model i'm working on getting a newer model now on to the gopro i've been seeing a lot of people switch up to these gopro hero fives and hero sevens and shit like that i'm still just running the gopro hero 4 silver this is the silver it's got the little lcd screen on the back i know the newer ones have the little stabilization and the stuff like that. I don't have anything against the new ones, but I just don't don't feel like I want to spend the money for for what I'm doing. The quality is perfectly fine out of this little thing. Been beat up. It's got a little broken case right there, and I've never had any issues with it. So I think I'm just gonna continue to run this until I don't know until something happens and it breaks. Or, and uh, I have it front mounted. And a lot of people ask me right here if I glued my mount on there. And I'll, yes, that that is glue on there but it, it's not glued on it is stuck on with the normal 3m tape that comes with the cena mounts it had gaps right here in between which i don't know i guess i didn't trust it so this is just some uh like silicone adhesive that i just filled in the gaps on the back and it, it some people might think it's overkill and i can i can kind of agree it is a little bit of overkill but it's definitely done its job it, it has held up i've had this i have not taken this mount off of this helmet and 
like two and a half, almost three years, and it has been on there solid. And then this is a little J hook I have. A lot of people ask me this all the time, how I have it mount mounted on there. I've just got the, the mount on the front of the helmet, and then I've got single link right there and hook to one of the little helmet mount J hooks. But I mean, that's that's all I've got on there. A little fuzzy bit right there. Uh, that's my microphone. It's got the dead cat cover on it. Kind of have it wedged into the cheek pad right there, and it seems to do the trick. I'm not gonna pull it out of the helmet, but the microphone is this microphone right here. It's the Sony Omnidirectional microphone. Typically, you can find it at Best Buy. It's like a $20 microphone, or you can just order it off of Amazon or something like that. They're really not hard to find. It's been the microphone I've been running for a long time, and I seem to get pretty decent quality out of it. I've also got my MacBook here. This is what I use for editing and everything like that. Uh, it's the 17-inch MacBook Pro. I mean, it's just a typical MacBook, but I use Final Cut on it, uh, Final Cut Pro, if you guys are interested in what editor I use, but. Uh, that's pretty much it for my gear. A lot of it just looks like normal everyday clothing uh, that's armored. I, I, I tend to swing towards the uh, more comfortable side of things. If you guys are interested enough uh, in any of this gear, let me don't know down in the comments and I'll be dropping links to where you can find all of this, except for like, the, the knee pads and shin guards, I don't know, you're gonna have to like look on eBay or something because they don't make those anymore. Same with the helmet, the, they, they still make the Airframe Pro, but they do not make the Faro anymore. GoPro you might have to buy used because it's an older model, but that's not gonna be something that's gonna be that hard to find. But that's pretty much it. Sorry you guys didn't get an actual writing video this weekend. It's supposed to get nice throughout the week, so come in Wednesday, uh, my Wednesday upload should be pretty good. We're gonna go out, hit the streets ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.